orthopedic history was rewritten in the pink city of Jaipur when an unusual conference was conducted for two days. The registrations began early and I introduced the conference. The inauguration was by watering the plants by the faculty who were introduced one by one. 106 delegates from 13 countries joined. My first talk was on unusual situations in orthopedics and it was on proximal fibular osteotomy. The delegates began after sumptuous breakfast. Proximal fibular osteotomy paper was followed by a hip preservation session starting with Dr. Mukherjee, Subir Mukherjee speaking on medical management of vascular necrosis to the hip. It was a fantastically appreciated talk. He was followed by Dr. Maggu and Dr. Yunus who spoke about plate and elizera respectfully for hip salvage. Then I spoke on the Divakar Prakash classification of suprachondylar fractures as a prelude to Dr. Arvind Divakar's fantastic lecture on gravity method. Dr. Kirpat, Himanshu and Muhammad Yunus then described the stack frame for a fractured calcaneum which makes the use of calcaneal plates obsolete and produces outstanding results as the clinical and radiological results in 63 patients were shown by Dr. Himanshu. Then Dr. Yunus and Dr. Kirpat together explained the principles of deformity correction. Many, all sessions were interactive where the faculty was bombarded with questions and patiently answered all of them. After a quick lunch where the faculty got together, the next set on ultralight or featherweight plasters followed by Rajat Malat's talk on principles of deformity correction which was further expanded by Muhammad Yunus, Dr. Sushil Chaudhary and Dr. Kirpat. This followed the first workshop on the stack frame for a calcaneal fracture which kept the delegates engrossed and they tried it themselves on flexible silicone models. Each table had less number of delegates so that they could effectively actually understand, ask questions and go themselves to see how things were. The next workshop was on high tibial osteotomy with an Elizarov apparatus which envisaged tremendous interest. The delegates were then allowed to build up their own stack frames for a calcaneum as well as high tibial osteotomy frames for OANE. The hinge placement was taught by the stalwarts and experts and the delegates had many a question, sometimes too tough for the surgeons. The evening banquet was a gala bonanza which was attended by about half the number of delegates and their spouses. A rather spirituous affair, it happened to be the birthday of Dr. N. K. Magu and it was decided to give him a surprise party. After a little warm-up, Dr. Magu and I arrived and once we were fortified on C2H5OH, we planned to spring up a surprise on Dr. N. K. Magu by a cake which was procured at the last minute by none else by but Dr. Rajat Maloth 
the organizing secretary the faculty and delegates had a great time interacting with each other and taking selfies with each other and also discussing orthopedics over alcohol and really tasty snacks for which jaipur is really famous for many local orthopedic surgeons who had not registered for the conference were also invited to join the party dr maggu got a surprise when the cake was presented and after the cake cutting ceremony we all decided to head to the dance floor in the dance floor one could see the enthusiasm amongst the surgeons while they rocked to the fantastic tunes of hollywood bollywood and kollywood what started off with few doctors quickly became a crowded discotheque where everyone assembled and let their hair down after one day's hectic learning the dance moves by dr mohan mantri dr kiran patel dr arup mukherji dr nk muggu were all very widely appreciated by the delegates and faculty as i have two left feet i did not participate in this fantastic dancing event but even dr maggu who is senior to me let his hair down and danced happily and ecstatically to all the tunes that were skillfully played by the disc jockey we can see the heat gathering up and dr kiran patel dancing to the frenzy the delegates were extremely happy and the dancing continued till late night after which healthy dinner of salads and sandwiches was served it was announced that the next day there will be extra workshop for people who had missed on the previous day and though the lectures would start at 8:30 the morning workshop would come at from 6:30 am and we still have enthusiastic people come up for the lecture by sharp 8 the program resumed again and i gave the first talk followed by dr maggu who spoke on hip preservation in complex acetabular fractures a very difficult topic indeed and over all us with excess a hectic typical jaipuri breakfast followed during which the lectures continued uninterrupted the delegates came back with the plates in their hand and listened to dr prakash talk on his present experiences which resulted in a standing ovation this was followed by a very fascinating and interesting morning session beginning with dr kiran patel who spoke about the stewart platform suvs tailor frames and he had to face a lot of questions about the software and hardware then came rajat malhot who spoke about cora and deformity correction and then came mohammad yunus who described complex deformities being corrected by very simple elizra frames dr yunus's talk was one of the heightened events of the occasion and his femoral frames were exotic dr subir mukherjee sorry dr arup mukherjee then spoke on magnification loops dr arvind devakar jain shared spectacular results of treating ankylosing spondylosis with a wonder drug the delegates had so many questions that the faculty came up on the stage again and patiently answered all the questions about the new technology and orthopedics beyond textbooks then came the much awaited workshop on condylar plate and a femoral osteotomy workshop 
conducted by Dr. N. K. Maggu and Dr. Kirpat. The surgical steps were first explained in a video and demonstrated on a plastic bone where each and every step was explained in detail. Every delegate had a chance to ask questions and the demonstration was slowed down each time and every time when the delegate asked a question. After this, the delegates were given an opportunity to try out this procedure in the models and using the instruments and implants that were with them on the table. The workshop was very highly appreciated by all the delegates who had never had such close interaction and an opportunity to ask so many questions which were answered with a smiling face by the faculty. This followed a lunch after which the program came to a conclusion. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And this was indeed an eye-opener, a change and possibly created history in orthopedic. Thank you all.